I love working in a terminal. It's just something very familiar and I've got a bunch of them. So this is the Windows terminal and uh, I've got PowerShell in here. I've got a Cloud Shell in here, a couple of Ubuntu's. Um, and I was thinking it'd be fun to add Daytona so that I could just grab a workspace that I already have open and open a, a SSH window to it. So let's see how we would do that in Terminal. And you're able to do this also with iTerm, uh, and I'll do a separate video for that a little bit later. But let's go to Settings, and we're going to add a new profile. We're going to start with an empty profile. Um, we're going to call this... Daytona Workspaces, or Daytona Workspace, let's do that. And what you need is you need to have the Daytona CLI installed somewhere on your system. I've got mine in uh, a bin directory within my user directory. And we're also going to give an argument here. We're going to say SSH. Um, Icon-wise, we're going to browse for one. And I've got Daytona in here somewhere. Daytona logo, perfect, we'll use that. Um, and that's really all you need to do. If you want to, you can change the appearance. Let's go ahead and use, uh, we'll use one half dark for this. Um, and we'll use um, hack. And other than that, I'm ready to go. So we're gonna save this. We're gonna go back, save this. I think we can now, I think we can close settings and we'll go to Daytona Workspace. So I'm already logged in. And so it asks me which of the workspace was what I'd like to start. And I'll go ahead and start that workspace. It's gonna go ahead and start that workspace for me, which will take a few seconds while the, um, container gets restarted and comes out of hibernation. And then it's just like I have a workspace. Um, so there you have it. And uh, you can start multiple. If you had multiple workspaces open, you'd be able to start multiple. Um, in this case, I can have two two attaches to the same workspace so i can um, uh, ssh all i want if i had multiple workspaces open i could do that too um, so that's just a quick and easy way to add daytona to your terminal